what cameras and lenses you tend to use, Charles, and have used over the years? Uh, I use Canon and always have done. Um, basically, because when I first joined LAT in 1988, um, that's what that that was the gear that they had, and they lent me the gear initially, and uh, everybody used Canon. So, and, and and they are, it's it's probably some photographers use Nikon, but it's either Canon or Nikon generally. They're the two, the two best makes. But before that, I'd, I'd had them for eight or nine years. But the ones that I've got that I bought them in June this year, just two new bodies for this season, and they they already look like about five years old. You know, they take they take such such a battering. There's a skill there's a skill to photographing in the wet. Um, it's a bit like drivers, really, and some some photographers are better than others in the wet. The problem with water damage is that often it kind of seeps into your cameras, and your cameras keep working, and you think, oh, that's all right, I got got away with it, and then the you know corrosion kind of sets in, and a few months down the line, everything mm. everything goes wrong, you know. So it's hard, it's quite hard to look after them properly because you're always in, you know, you you're rushing around, and the, you know the the conditions aren't always great. And I love taking pictures, but there are guys in the photographer's room that um, are very good technically, and and they're very and and also nowadays on Photoshop uh, has become a big part of photography, and that's that's not my strong point. And I actually don't like it very much either. I um I kind of think a a photo to me is is sort of like a it's a moment in time and at, at that moment that you press the button for that 500th of a second or whatever it is, what you see on that photo is what happened. And I've not got much interest in uh, manipulation of pictures and adding things mm. and completely changing pictures. And they can still be interesting images and interesting pictures, but I don't really see it as a photograph. But well that's said. kind of... Well, said. well it's, it's just... It's just it's, I'm, I'm quite old-fashioned, really. Um, mm. I yeah, but, um that's quality, that's just my yeah, opinion producing. you know yeah yeah idea. and it, and and with with modern cameras photography has definitely become easier uh you know I grew up in my early days at LAT we were shooting transparency you know on film and uh there wasn't much there's not much uh margin for error you know you have to be pretty spot on with your exposure and your framing and every, everything and it, it's a good it's a good training whereas I do think some of the guys that are starting now on digital, it's very forgiving. You know, you can mm. you, you you can take a picture that's way off, and not framed well, and not mm. not composed well, uh, not exposed well, and you can bring it all back in Photoshop and make a make a half decent picture out of it. You know, um, mm. but that's that's just the way it is. That's that's just me, really. 